start. <laughs> okay, we're recording. Go ahead. Okay, so um, we have Nick Baldwin here. For those of you that don't know Nick, um, I think most of you do, and that's why you're here on this call today. Uh, Nick is the co-founder of Lab Coat Agents. He was a team leader in the Clarkston office for 20 months. He has a team out of New Jersey. Is that right, Nick? Well, actually, um, I don't have my teams anymore. Oh, okay. Uh, and by the way, add um, a team. <laughs> I had a team. By the way, I, I just happened to be wearing all my LCA swag today, completely not on purpose. So That's taking, okay. I'm taking off the hat so I don't look, it doesn't look too crazy. But, and um, for those of you that are not a part of Lab Code Agents, please go to Facebook, search for Lab Code Agents, and join. It, there's a wealth of information in that group, and it is the largest Facebook, right? Largest real estate Facebook group in the world. Yeah, it's the largest and most engaged real estate uh, community on Facebook in the world with 122,000 members. Uh, I also have a really cool group called Command Your Conversion, which is specific to KW only. And there's about 32,000 KW agents, in, um, you know, masterminding we'll around too. command, right? So it'll help you uh, immensely. I also have a YouTube channel that I created it for the region. Um, I can uh, send you that YouTube link when I send Carrie the recording of this. Uh, there's 60 plus videos on there, webinars, interviews, how-to videos, lots of different ways to like start learning about command. Um, also, I started a free class called Command 101. There's currently 4,500 agents, uh, 4,500 KW agents enrolled in the class. It's free. It's um, 180 minutes of tutorial videos, uh, 28 modules, uh, quizzes to test your knowledge that are graded. PDF downloads of smart plants and it's hundred percent free and I'll send you the link, Carrie. Um, well, I think some of our agents are already the basics of command from like, I know Marty, I, Marty, have you completed that to, you know, all the way down to like running, uh, campaigns, mailers, um, you know, opportunities, uh, you know, um, customizing your buyer and seller guides. I mean the whole nine, right. There's 28 videos and, and, um, I'm getting a lot of great feedback on that. So I'd love for you guys to take that and it doesn't cost anything. So you might so as well. So we've uh, um, shared that multiple times. Yeah, so I've been that in the business for 14 times. years um, and I'm from New Jersey originally, but I moved back to Clarkston, Michigan uh, a little over two years ago. My wife's from Clarkston. Um, wasn't like it was on my bucket list or anything. Uh, we just uh, we just moved back because I got offered a TL position at the Clarkston office. And um after you know a little over a year and a half, uh, they were looking for this new position, regional technology trainer, and so I was hired for that, which is really like more in my wheelhouse, in the sense. But I, because um, I'm passionate about helping agents build better relationships and better businesses through technology, and I say better, not bigger, because you have to get better before you can get bigger. Everyone talks about, oh, you're gonna help you grow a bigger business. And bigger is great, but if you're not a better, if you're not, if you're not a better agent, then um, you don't wanna get bigger yet, right? So I help agents get better through tech. And uh, I have sold about 700 homes per my career and in Michigan. I had two, I had one team, one in New Jersey, and then one, I started one in the market center about six months in and uh in 2019 both teams did around 35 million and 117 units and i had five agents on the on on those teams combined that did over a hundred thousand dollars net in their first year in the business and the reason i tell you that is because a lot of stuff that i teach is strategy and not theory so if i'm teaching you something it's because i've done it and my agents have done it so i take a lot of pride in that I don't say, hey, if you do this, this might work. If you do this, it has worked in two drastically different markets. My price point in New Jersey was, was half a million dollars. My price point in Michigan was 245,000. So two drast drastically different markets where the same models and systems worked, right? Where have you heard that before? Keller Williams, millionaire real estate agent. If you, if you create models and systems that are scalable, they'll work, they'll work anywhere in the entire world. And so I'm just proud that I was able to do that. And so I'm able to teach it from, from experience and not from 
theory. I'm going to start a team again because I feel it's really important, but I needed to focus more on this specifically for a while and then I'll get back into, into that. But um, anyway, so the whole point of this call is to, is for you guys, right? Um, it's for you guys to understand command better, uh, to answer any really, to answer any questions around strategy and um, implementation. What I don't want this call to be, and it's not like you can't email me later, but what I don't want the call to be is, hey, I'm not getting lead notifications through Kelly, right? That's a very specific um, tech, uh, tech um, support question that only pertains to you. We have, I think there's like 30 people on this call, right? So I don't wanna bog it down with, with tech support. I wanna be like, hey Nick, I really wanna understand uh, the value of landing pages or I'm running ads on Facebook what you think what do you think the best strategy is to get in front of certain target uh demographic you know or i also want to talk about if you're doing something awesome what are you doing and let's share that with the rest of the people on the call right so does that make sense everybody i don't want you to not share any tech support issues i just don't want you to do it on this call with 30 people so if you have any specific questions you can always reach out to me or your tech driver in your market center uh, but let's talk more around strategy and implementation and what is working right now on command and how you can leverage it. So the first question I'm going to ask is who's using command in any way, shape or form. The most so the most everybody, cause there's some, there's some, uh, and if you're not, if you don't have your f camera on, just p type it up in the chat and let me know. Oh, Carrie said you have several agents taking command one on one. Sweet. I love it. Marty, so it seems like a bunch it? of you are using it. Um, Marty, who wants to volunteer and okay. tell us what they're using it for? The first person to unmute themselves and talk. I don't have like a buzzer. I will. Which I probably oh, should Eric. Have some Hi, Eric. Capacity. Hi. So my, my team, we've been using, uh, um, uh I'm going to call on somebody who rose their oh. hand. Mark oh, Wayne, you rose your hand. What are you using, uh, command for buddy? <laughs> um, I am using it for. Oh, um, I can't hear you. No. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Uh, hold on a second. Hey, Carrie, can you say something? Yeah, I'm talking. Can you hear me? That is so weird. I can't hear anybody. Give me one second. Well, that makes sense why we were talking and he wasn't uh, hearing us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh. Is your volume I can't up? hear anybody talking. Give me one sec. Hi, Carrie. Can you hear me? Nope. Yep, I can hear you. I hear you. You can Mickey. hear me, Carrie. Okay. Yep. Hear me. Yep. So he's having a he's having an issue on because I was talking. I was like, I know Marty's taking um, command one hundred one. That is the strangest thing. So. I can't hear anybody talking. Carrie, I'm going to log out and come back in. I think something went weird there for a second. I don't know what happened. So. I'm going to log out and coming right back. Okay. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't kick all of us out when he does that. I oh, know. I was just host. thinking maybe we should all log out. No, 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 no. We're good. Okay. I can, we can hear each other. Okay. He's just having issues on his end. So I'll wait for him to come back. Okay, so Marty, what I was going to ask you is, I know that you started Command 101. How far did you get into it? I am um, all about the consumer experience, how to build your KW agent website. So okay. I've been doing like two or three a day, but it's very informational. I mean, it's, it's a good learning process. All right. You can awesome. like pause it and go back and, you know, re-listen and do it like at your own pace. Yeah. All right, I'm back and now I can hear everyone. I don't know what happened. That was okay, strange. so Nick, what you didn't hear me saying when you were talking before was several of our agents are taking Command 101. And okay. I send a daily email out every day. Our agents get it about all of the training that's going on. And at the very bottom is a link to, to all of your information. Sweet. I so, love that. Yes. All right, so I'm going to mute. Uh, hey, can you make me a host one more time? Yep. And Mark Wayne was, I know. Yeah, Mark. Um, let me know what, what you're doing with command currently right now. 
Well, um, currently my, my database, um, I have smart plans set up for uh, several buyers, or I'm sorry, uh, several sellers. Um, my website, and I do want to do more with that. Um, I have uh, obviously everything all set up for transactions um, internally in our office, Chrissy and also Joe Lee, another agent, um, have done a lot of training on uh, DocuSign. Um, so compliance, um, using it for, for that. I have also designed some uh, flyers and brochures in command as well. Nice. So you're saying that you're using smart plans and you have your contacts in there. Can you talk about what different smart plans you're using for them? Um, the, I believe it's the, the neighborhood nurture. I have a couple people on the biweekly and then I have a couple people on the monthly um, and that's the email campaigns. Yeah, that's awesome. And so are you using any, you know, happy birthday or home anniversary type smart plans yet? Um, I'm not, I actually just, it was last week, um, previous clients, I just got all their um, home anniversaries logged in or put into the database. So I just got that started. Awesome. So just so you guys know, those work really well, right? Like the home anniversary and the happy birthday, they work really well. I would suggest that you test it out on yourself first. And if your birthday is in January, obviously just put in a fake birthday, right? Like don't wait you know, six months to see if it works in January, but um, it worked. And what happens is for your birthday, for the birthday smart plans, it'll send you a reminder about six days before that person's birthday to, to like send a card or a gift. And then um, there's a lot of different steps. The birthday plan is a little bit overwhelming for my taste. I don't feel you should do all the steps. I think it's like six steps or something. It's like, it's like send a card, send a, make a phone call, post on social media, send them a homing pigeon, you know, message in a bottle and then send a text message. It's a little much. What I would say is go get, send the card and either make the call or, or let the person send a text. The text will go out on their actual birthday. So you have six days to get a card in the mail and then for a text to go out. But what I would suggest is edit that smart plan. You can edit the different text messages in that smart plan because the initial text message just says happy birthday. But what I've done is to get hold myself accountable is six days before their birthday, it reminds me to send the card. And then I've edited the text message that goes out on their birthday to say, hey, Carrie, it's Nick with Keller Williams. Wanted to say happy birthday. Hope it's the best day yet. Hey, my team sent a card for your birthday. Check and make sure that you got that. Right. Um, I'm going to mute everybody real quick. And then when you talk, just unmute yourself. Um, so the cool thing about that is you send the card and then you edit the text message to reflect the fact that you sent the card and it makes it much more personal. Um, and it holds you accountable to get a card in the mail. And I did that. I tested it on myself and, uh, it did remind me to send a card six days before my birthday. And then on my actual birthday, I got a text wishing myself a happy birthday, asking if I got the card. I felt that was, it was, I felt that was very, um, I was very, I was, I was very kind to myself on my birthday. I was probably the only one that texted myself. So I'm excited about that. Um, same with home anniversary, except home anniversary is like send a card and then make a phone call. But getting people on those smart plans, you'd be surprised. Like, here's how you do, here's like 32, ready? 32 touches a year. No, 28 touches a year. Sorry. Neighborhood nurtures once a month. Happy birthday, home anniversary, um, quarterly call plan, and then six text messages, like one every two months. That's 28 touches, give or take, right? Depending if you use all the happy birthday. And like, that's all you need, guys. Like, and all that's automated with texting and reminders and emails and stuff like that. Like, that's really all you need to just stay front and center, right? And, and I love that you're saying that, Nick. And I just want to put out there that we have trainings. We have command trainings every week. And we just had one on, on smart plans and nobody came. Oh so my gosh. Um, it's really, it's a great, it, it's a great opportunity for you to keep in touch with your database. So here's, there's a very basic example of how powerful it is, right? 
So the, one of the classes I teach called Leverage is a New Hustle is basically all about leveraging technology in your business. Um, and there's one example that I give. The last time I sold a house personally was 2017. And I had um, a text message every month to my database, like people that I, when I say database, I mean like 30 or 40 very close past clients that I've become friendly with. And it was one, one text a month for 12 months because every single month there's a holiday, right? Like every month, even like a wacky holiday, like happy national cookie day, what's your favorite cookie? Like you'd be surprised the amount of responses you get. Oh, I love macadamia nut, right? So um, the example I give in my class is who wants to add 60,000 GCI a year to their, um, to their income just from text messages? Right. Who wouldn't raise their hand? So I go, hey, I'm going to show you a text message that made me $60,000. I want you all to write this down because it's like, I, go, I make it seem like it's some crazy. And it's happy 4th of July, Carrie. Hope you're having a great day. What are you barbecuing today? And people are like, what? I'm like, yeah, but you know what the thing is? That text message didn't make me the 60 grand. That text message didn't get me 2 million in, product, in, in business the six other messages that came before it did it was just the consistency when right then and there that's when the business came so the class talks about how we're going to add we're going to how we're going to make two hundred thousand dollars through facebook sphere of influence and video and that sixty thousand is the example i used because it was only texting 12 text messages a year to your database wishing them on, on national holidays. And why do we do it on national holidays? Yes, people are home from work, but there's a bigger reason uh, because they're, they're around family. And so uh, a million and a half of the 2 million in business that I got from that text were referrals. And one was like a direct listing from an actual person because they are around their friends and they are around their family. And one of the three things that people talk about most with when they're around family and friends who bought a house who got married who had a baby so if they're talking about real estate and you text it's like you're the most amazing and also they're around their family so any excuse to get out of there and go see a house with you is like you know they're like oh my gosh nick get me away from my mother-in-law i gotta go see a house today but um you know, so that stuff really does work. And so I would suggest doing that, tw those 28 touches with smart plans. Uh, some of it is actual stuff that you have to manually do because there's tasks. But then a lot of it is text messages and emails and neighborhood nurtures where you don't have to do anything. And the cool part about it is, you know that every month a neighborhood nurture is going out to X amount of people. That's your, that's your lead generation. Hey, Carrie, I just wanted to check in with you because I know that your, your neighborhood snapshot went out today. I just wanted to make, I want to see if you had any questions about it. You can call them always around to chat. Even if they don't call you back, you're just checking in. It looks like a couple houses sold in your neighborhood that might have affected your home value. If you have any questions about it, I'm here, you know? Like that's what's so cool about a neighborhood nurture. So look at it this way. If you have a thousand people in your database, I'm going to do the math. And if I'm wrong on the math, then let me know. A thousand people divided by the average days in a month, 30. Okay. If you have a thousand people in your database and you, cause in, in, in command, you're able to stagger your um, smart plans, right? Like you don't want to send a thousand neighborhood nurtures to everyone all at once. But if you divide a thousand or however, however many you have in your database by 30 or by 28, I think, I think it's 28 or 30 average days in a month. That's 33 uh, neighborhood nurtures that go out a day. That's 33 people every day that you can call because 33, pe 33 different people will get their neighborhood nurture every single day. There's your lead generation, right? You're not calling the same 33 people every day. You're calling a different 33 people. So divide your database by the average amount of days in a month and deploy your, your neighborhood nurtures by that many. And those are the people that you have to reach out to. Hey, Gary, I think you got your neighborhood nurture today. I uh, just wanted to check in, see if there's any questions you might have about your home value. I'm always around to chat, super easy. And like I said, if they don't call you back, it doesn't matter. 
because they got your message and so you're top of mind. And the uh, average in our office is 231 in a database. Okay. So Let's, that's a great average actually. You're almost at 300, which is what KWRI um, would love, right? So 231 divided by 30. Oh, that's seven, eight people a day to call. We can all do that. <laughs> totally. You could do that when you're in the car. Right. You know what I mean? That's right. Um, and then you set task reminders for each of those people on those on when their neighborhood nurture goes out. So that's I mean, cool. I think, and Nick, Eric Dermo is on this call. I don't know if he's available to, are you there, Eric? Yeah, well, I have a call with Eric tomorrow, this week. It's in the calendar, Eric, don't worry. Because I know he's but got anyway. a lot of people set up on Yeah, I'm in, I'm in there, yep. Yeah. Oh, there you are, Eric. And right, yeah. Eric, isn't that how you, you guys are u utilizing that at a high level? Yeah, the market snapshot, um, we do that and we are in the process of, um, you know, because we're transitioning from uh, a different CRM into full using uh, the, the platform, but market snapshot and then uh, and then starting to use more of the smart plans. Nice. What are you um, using? So you're using the neighborhood nurture. What other smart plans are you, are you using? I know you're doing some Facebook stuff too, but what are you doing yeah. for your database? Um, just the, the people that we have in there right now are just the market snapshot. Um, currently because the rest of our database is still in uh, brevity. So we're in the, like I said, we're in the process of getting that set up to transition them all into it. So, but we've got like, I mean, we've got 30,000 people in there though. So it's a lot. Yeah. Just a so, few. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you got the leverage, right? Yeah, so. exactly. We use virtual assistants and stuff like that to do it. But, um, but I have to say though, the Facebook, uh, lead accelerator has been fabulous. So. Um, yeah, we've had great success great. with that. Another cool thing that you can do with your database is, speaking of Facebook, is you can retarget your database um, through the Facebook uh, feature, right? So when you're creating an ad, instead of, instead of choosing a target audience, you choose your database and you can section your database off um, into, different, into different sections like by neighborhood or by tag or, you know, whatever the case may be. And so staying in front, like if you, here's another thing, like if you create a Facebook ad and you target your database and you put that database into a list, let's say you have 230 people on that list because you only need a hundred people to do a targeted uh, database ad. All you need to do is $1 a day for the entire year. Just throw 365 bucks into a regular retargeting ad that's always running to your database. And then you can also add more and more and more people to that. To that. And so it's basically like, you know, a, a brand awareness ad, right? You can always change that up. It could be a blog, it could be a video, it could be just listed, just sold, whatever it is. Something to, and something to add value. And so it could be a neighborhood snapshot video they create and designs. The point is, if you have something running like that every day, for a dollar a day for the course of a year, you know, that's going to stay front and center in front of those people. And then you add all the other touches on top of it, like email, texting, phone calls, birthday, home anniversary, like all this stuff comes, you know, full circle. And if you spent 365 bucks over the course of a year to your database, you got like, I don't know, three or four deals just from an ad that's consistently running. I mean, that's all in itself, three or four deals, another, you know, 15. Like a no-brainer. Yeah, right. So there's a lot of things you can be doing. Um, uh, what, what's, um, who else is using it? Um, we talked to Mark, we talked to Eric. Who else is using it? And then I'll kind of jump into some, some stuff that you might not know exists, you know, in terms of strategy. Who else is using it? Hey, hey, Nick, can I ask real quick question um on the going back to the um the smart plans the monthly the bi-weekly on the emails it seems like and i don't have a ton set up but more often than not it's going into their their junk mail and i had i had some problems too and that was one of my problems um and i know it's 
filters, I'm assuming, like, like that they have set up, but I, I, and not that it's a bad thing that I have to call them when I can see they haven't opened it, but is there anything we can do to, to, to get it through? I have one couple where both of them, um, the first one that went out and went into their junk mail, talked to them, they got it, they found it. And then the next month when it went out, it, it goes back into their junk mail. Hmm. Do they have Gmail or another another server? They, yes, actually, they both both of them have Gmail. I have a Hotmail. You know, I set myself up on it, and I well, I had a number of issues, but in my Hotmail, it's also going into my junk mail. I set one up for myself. And you attempted to remove it from junk mail, and it still went into junk mail. E yes. Now. On, on mine specifically, the, the first one that I got went into junk mail and then I moved it and then I just got one the other day that was fine. It came to my inbox. Okay. I think this might be something that you guys talk about. Yeah, we can talk yeah. about that because I've never had that okay. happen to me, but let me check in and, and with my other tech trainers and see if anyone's having that issue. But um, I can circle back with you on that because once you, once you tell your Gmail or your email server that it's not junk, it should... It should stay, which by the way, that's why the first time it's so important to reach out, right? So it's kind of a lesson for everybody. The first time you set someone up on a snapshot, and by the way, I have actually a smart plan that um, I can send to Carrie as well, along with the recording. It's a smart plan. It's called Introduction to Neighborhood Nurture. And it's um, just basically like, an, an, I think it's an email and a couple text messages that tell your, your client what it is that you're going to be sending them. I think that's the one, Chrissy, is that the one that we had ready to go for our class? Oh, wait, you're muted. She's shaking her head though. So Nick, we actually have that, that we're ready to show everyone how well, to the set one that it I up. Created? Yeah, because we oh, came to your cool. class. We wait, 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 no, 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 no. We had the, um, the Facebook ad follow-up. Okay. Oh, okay. I My have bad. A, My bad. I have a, it's very short. It's like, two or three touches. Um, first, it's an email explaining what the neighborhood nurture is. And then I think it's like a couple follow-up texts. Maybe it's a five, I can't remember exactly. But basically like setting the stage, right? Oh, know what it is? you know what it is? It's the email. And then, and then within smart plans, you can set them up on a smart plan. So there's an email and then there's an add to smart plan option. And then you, you add them to the smart plan. And then the next day, it's a text asking, asking if they got it. So the we'll first email- yeah. We'll and so that. that's what, so Mark actually brings up a good point um, because it may go to spam for a few of your clients, depending on their, on their email provider. But once they tell their email provider, that's not spam, it should go into their main folder the next time. So that's why it's really important. So sometimes I like, no, I didn't get it. Oh, can you check your spam? Here's what it's, here's, here's what it should say. And then once they find it, you know, everything's all good. Um, so it's a, it's a smart plan that basically tells them what it is, what to expect. And I urge you not to set your clients up on that until about 90 days after they close on their house, because you don't want to feel like you're selling them the second they close, right? Hey, so glad that we got this house closed. Hey, I'm going to send you an update every month to tell you how much your home is worth in case you want to sell it. It's like, whoa, dude, I didn't even like get the keys yet. So I urge that you wait 90 days and then you, you send that so they don't feel like you're just selling them. But it's worded in a way where it's very like informational. Hey, you know, just wanted to make sure you want to keep up on this and here's what you're going to get and blah, blah. So I'll send it out. It's a good one. Um, if I say so myself, it's a good one. I don't want to, you know, you guys will judge. Um, so uh, let, me, let me ask you, um, who is using one of my favorite features, landing pages? Anybody? Anybody? I see one hand up. I see Mickey. I know okay. Mickey was working on those. Is anybody familiar with the landing pages feature in um, in command? Because it is like hands down my favorite feature. Why don't? Can you show us? Of what course, you're I'm going about? to. Yes, yeah, present. I'm going to jump in and show you because it's a um, a really great value proposition to your clients. Um, because what's cool about it is it's a cool uh, link that they can share on their um, 
social media platforms too, right? And so when they share it, hey, my house is for sale, you know, and whoever sees it, they have to reach out to you through the through the form at the bottom of the page. So I'm going to jump into a uh, consumer, which is um, everything consumer facing website, app, anything that the consumer sees and landing pages are in there too. So I'm going to create a new site right over here. Once I'm in consumer and, and you want to create a standalone page. This is if you're going to add a page to your website, this is just going to be if you're adding a regular standalone page. So you got to click that, create the page. And these are good to use with Facebook ads too. It's always slow when you're sharing your screen inside of Zoom. Yeah, I'm also in <laughs> case. I'm also in case where they literally just got internet. Um, Nick, you have 103,000 unread emails. It's not. That would make not, me insane. They're not all unread. It's just I'm not good. At, I don't. I get worried to delete things. Um, and a lot of them are leads. A lot of them are lead notifications that come in that I don't open anyway because I get it on my phone. You know what oh. I mean? All right. So let's start with a branded header. All right. I'm gonna. These are oh well, these are widgets. Okay. Widgets are what you use to design. Um, your pages with. So I'm gonna start with a brand header because when you bring over the brand header and drop it, that's basically your information, okay? Your logos, all the stuff up here. And then you're gonna wanna obviously have um, a listing. So, and if you don't have a listing, ask someone in your office who does. If you wanna, if you wanna like promote something on social media, you wanna run an ad and you don't have a listing to advertise, I guarantee you that if you say, hey, do you mind if I spend 25 or 50 bucks and run an ad you for your- You don't even have to ask. It's just, we, we share our listings in our oh, office. Well, there you go. You to do that pretend, to promote it. Just pretend I didn't say anything. <laughs> um, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put all the widgets in before I start customizing it. Then I'm going to bring in a market snapshot because I want to show the listing, but I also want to show the area and then that widget gets dropped. And maybe I wanna throw a video in there. Maybe there might be a video on YouTube that I wanna, that I wanna use. Throw that video widget, and then there's a space for it. And then I'm going to uh, maybe throw in another local expert, some information about you or, or as, as an agent. And then I'll do a download my app call to action. And then I will do a lead form because you want someone, you want them to be able to like contact you. All right, so now we're gonna wanna configure these, all right? So let's go to configure widgets. All right, the first one is the branded header. Um, now you could say us listed, and then when you save and apply, it then updates up here, just listed, right? Um, you don't have to put anything if you don't want to, but you have to have a character. So if you hit the space bar and you save and apply, that's can count it as a character, and then you don't have to have anything over there if you don't want to. Because on the phone, there's really not enough room there to actually have the just listed or any type of verbiage. So I would just hit the space bar and hit save and apply. All right, so then we're gonna choose the listing. All right, so I'm gonna browse a listing and I'm going to use a listing that I know there's a video on. Uh, so I'm going to do, um, I mean, this is so simple as, as I'm watching you do this, like you're creating a web page that can be shared out and it's just, it's just like a few easy. different clicks and here you are. Right. So this is a, this is going to be a, this will be a just sold. My mother just sold this house in, um, in New Jersey. So 
this is the house right here. So when you type in the address, you can do property address, MLS number, KWI, KWLS number. You type in the address, hit search, click select, which, watch how easy this is. So all the photos pop up from KWLS. It's going really slow because we're on Zoom, but it's usually much faster. Or you can upload a custom image. The, the main image goes here. So if you have like a custom image that you wanna use, you can do that too. Otherwise, you just select any one of these. I'm gonna choose the front of the house and I'm gonna save and apply. Watch this. And that's the same thing inside of designs too. Any design that you're doing when you yep. select KWLS, it's just. Yep. Oh, and it updated all of the, the property information as well. Yeah, so you, so you have the photo, then you got the address, and then you have the amount of beds, baths, year it was built, and then you have the description from the MLS that comes in, and then you have this really cool, beautiful um, slideshow, which is awesome, and then more features from the MLS, and then a map. Okay, and so down here, this is where we want to put in the neighborhood, and so click um, new market snapshot because we don't want to have Barton Hills. And I'm going to just say. It's really glitchy. I don't see how you got to that, but oh, you just went back to the configure widgets to get to it. Yeah, it might be a little slower on your end. Yeah, you always have to go back to the configure widgets. So I typed in Glen Ridge neighborhood trends. Then you type in the zip code. And then when you save and apply, oh no, when you type in the zip code, then you can choose the neighborhood. So these are all the neighborhoods that are around 07028. You have to know the neighborhood that the property is in. And that's easy to do because if you look up on your KW website and you type in the address, it'll show you what neighborhood it's in. But this is the Glen Ridge neighborhood. So when I click Glen Ridge, after typing in the postal code and changing the header and I click save and apply, Okay, just watch this up here, watch this here, and then watch this information down here. I mean, this is just an incredible amount of value that you can be providing to your seller to show them that, look, I'm creating this personalized page for you, like you were saying, to share out, you know, so you can share it. I'm yep. sharing it. Other agents in my office are sharing it. So it updated. Glen Ridge Neighborhood Trends, here's Glen Ridge, and then here's active and days on market average list price total sold um you know in the last several months um and this is good for someone who's you know looking um to see what's going on in glenridge Glen Ridge is extremely hot market it's only three square miles so you so nick get... i have a question so once this is done yep i'm and, almost done and and once it's out there if somebody clicks on it they have to fill out. Well, so yeah, so let me show you real quick. I'm just going to grab the video so you can see how easy it is to do a video. Okay. And then I'm going to show you how you would promote this. So let me just go to YouTube and let me pull up. Cause anyone that has a new listing coming up or even if you just, even if you just sold too, you could put this out. Well, the great thing about it is, um, The great thing about it is you, uh, because it's KWLS, every listing stays even after it sells. Right. So you can do a just sold. Okay, so here's a video. I went to YouTube, I got the video and I'm going to copy the link and I'll go back here and I'll click the video widget and you can't upload a video if you have it in your hard drive. You don't need a, you don't need a link on YouTube. Um, so I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna type in. And the description.
so for the today's plan of action and the email that you guys get in your daily email tomorrow, it's going to be to set up a landing page for either a property that you have listed or another listing in our office. And then what I would love for you to do once it's set up is send me a copy of it. So I'm going to hold everyone accountable on this Zoom to getting that done. <laughs> well, I have a video on my YouTube page that's about 10 minutes that takes you step by step so you can watch that. So you can send that out too, Kara, you want. Um, so here's what I did. Headline, brief description, using a video URL. If you have a video in your hard drive, you can use that too. Um, and I put the video URL from YouTube in here and I'm going to save and apply it. Now, when you're uploading a video, it takes about five or 10 minutes, depending on the size. But with the link that you've uploaded, now let's, with the link that you've uploaded to YouTube, it's a lot quicker. So let's just go through these steps while I go to the next. Um, so we've got the single property site, the map, the neighborhood trends, and here's the video. And when I press play, oops, I think this um, video may not be active anymore, but the point is, it does work. You get the it, idea. Yeah, I can show you one that does work. And then um, download my app. Okay, so save and apply. And then your local expert. This gives you an opportunity to, um, you know, add. I have to, uh, it has to be 280 characters. Um, okay, let me save and apply this. You can also, um, you can also, uh, edit this verbiage in here um, for your app. You can say kind of whatever you want. Um, but I wanna show you one that's completely done. Uh, and I'll show you an ad that I created for it that actually got 18 leads and about 1.5 million in potential business um, from people that were qualified through it. So. And I created it for, you might know him, Ken Posick, who is from Detroit originally, but now he's in um, Orlando. But I created this, this page for him and ran an ad for him. And it's right here. So this was a house that he had listed in Celebration, Florida. It started with the market trends, just did it a little bit differently. And then um, we had the, now this is live on the internet. We have the pictures, single property site. And then down here, he had a great video because Ken is just crushing with the video. And I will show you the ad that I built for Ken, if you're interested. And I spent $25, we got 18 leads. He got a buyer who is pre-approved for $400,000. And then he got two six month buyer nurtures. And I just wanna show you what that ad looked like because- So for $25. $25, yeah. That's amazing. Let me see where it is here. Here it is. So this was the ad. Let's give it a second while it loads up. It was advertising a digital, like a virtual tour just because COVID um, hit really hard in Florida. And so here's the verbiage and you feel free to take a picture of this. Um, now you only want to run an ad like this if you have a video um, or like a 3D tour. But it said, in this current climate, it's difficult to see homes in person. We have you covered. Go on a video tour of this beautiful celebration floor at home without leaving your couch. Click learn more below for digital access. And so, you know, we had some really nice photos. And when they clicked through, they were sent to this landing page that I created for him with a really great video. And um, he got three great buyers. One was instant for 400,000 pre-approved. And um, one and two were, um, sorry, I'm just moving because I'm sweating sitting in the sun. Two were ready to buy within six months. So that was like instant gratification for him. 
and we only spent 25 bucks. And I can show you exactly right here what that looked like. Um, yeah, $25, 18 leads, $1.39 a lead. I mean, so for can... anyone, so what I'm, my big takeaway from this is for anyone that doesn't have, you know, enough leads in their pipeline, which feels like everyone, I think we all feel that way. This is a really simple way and it took you less than 10 minutes to put it together. Pretty much. And $25 to get it out there. Yeah, I just wanna show you a couple of the other results we've gotten from recent leads. So um, Spencer Road that I just showed you, I ran this for my mom, $25, $1.47 a lead. Um, I got four, okay, so this one, another one I sent, sent for my mother in New Jersey, $200,000 condo listing. Uh, twenty-five dollars, twenty-seven leads. So we got under a dollar for this, and we set four appointments from this. Four appointments, right? Kind of incredible. I mean, this you, one Zill on this, Zillow that would cost you. I mean, how much would something like that cost you to run on Zillow? Probably, I mean, I think three or four hundred dollars a lead, maybe. Amazing. This one is not one two three Main Street. I, I, it was, but it was. Um, I ran this for. Uh, Eric Monzo, where we got 69 cents, right? And $20, he was like beside himself. If you guys don't know Eric, he's number one in Michigan for units. Um, and he's pretty cool, pretty awesome guy. So, um, you know, for a team like that, or for a team like that, they love the fact that they can spend 20 bucks and get 27 leads. And for agents who... Um, want to build their business, it doesn't break the bank. Right. Right. Um, okay. So Nick, we've got seven minutes left. Um, so anyone else have any, have any questions on this? Have any other questions around command? Speak now. <laughs> or forever hold your peace. Right. <laughs> anyone. Uh, so much, so, wait, there's a question here in the chat real quick as they were waiting. So let me get to okay. this. Uh, hand, I don't want to pronounce her name wrong. Andan. Andan? Andan, yeah. Uh, she has a question about neighborhood videos. She's using them in social media. Do you think it will improve? So Handan, if you're on the call, talk to me about what you want them to improve upon. Uh, oh, there you go. I am you. Hi. Hi. I, I am using that video several times, but it is always the same structure you know oh, I got you. So the videos, right so the neighborhood yeah, it is very up. nice but uh, same thing over and over it, it you can't right. make any changes yeah because they're neighborhood videos so like you could create multiple different videos for different neighborhoods uh, yes uh creating different templates is definitely something that is in the pipeline right so you know i would i would um wouldn't be surprised if we start to see some different styles rolling out, right? Mm -hmm. So, I but think the, the idea too, though, is around <clears throat> having that same branding continuing to go out for all the different. That's true too. So, um, so yeah, the the branding, and if you're creating, if you're creating neighborhood videos for different neighborhoods, and then you're running those videos in those neighborhoods through Facebook, <clears throat> um, and you're targeting them to those neighborhoods, then it's new to them, right? right. Mm -hmm. So it may be redundant to you, but to the consumer, it's not, right? right? We have it's to take experience. ourselves out of the equation. Yeah, uh, my, my idea is when I saw that videos, I really liked that, but you know, with the music and then I want to add some kind of cartoon figures, you know, they are running or something. It is, well, you know, so right now thing. in command, like that's the template that we have to work with. And so what I was saying before was mm -hmm. because it is branded to you at the end, like let's say I'm gonna run a neighborhood video in one, two, three neighborhood, and then I'm gonna run another one in X, Y, Z neighborhood. Yeah. You know, to you, that video is the same. Yes. To them, it's not. Right. So. Yeah. Don't think about them getting bored because the chances are they haven't seen it yet. Yes. Um, but I do know what you're saying in the sense that it would be nice to have different templates to choose from. So yes, yes that is something that, are, that they're working on. So you'll, your wish will be granted soon. So don't worry about that. Thank you. Alex. Um, Thank you. Uh, hi, Nick. Um, 
this is kind of a related question and, and thanks Tom Dundee because it, it reminded me on this question. Um, so I have been using command um, for uh, doing some quick ads, getting them out on social media very quickly. They're, they're amazing. I can get one done in five minutes and out on social media. Um, what I also do on my own, you know, with my own phone, turn it around is I do a, uh, like a biweekly segment where I do a one minute blast about email. I'm sorry about real estate. And I, I, I don't email, I, I put it on Facebook and I'll put it on Instagram. Um, but it's going to the same sphere of influence. It's going to my 1600 Facebook friends and 2000 Instagram followers. So I'd like to get beyond that. And I'm wondering if command, if I'm able to use the, if I'm, in the same way that I get the ads that I create, the, the postcards, flyers that I create and go out to social media that way. And it goes to, you know, with like the paid ad just for a listing of mine went to a thousand people that were, were targeted. Is it possible that if I did a video ad, I can get to that same type of audience, like target that same so the way that you would be, the way that you would target, um, and I can jump in real quick to campaigns and show you, yep. and hopefully this is kind of what you're asking. And we've so, got two minutes left. I just want to be mindful of time because I know Eric and I have to get onto the growth call at noon. Eric, uh, uh, wait, oh. who, who was that who messaged me? Alex. Yeah. yeah. Alex, email me at rttmino at gmail.com and I'll email you back. Okay. RTT. M I N O at the so regional tech trainer in Michigan, Northern Ohio, R T T M I N O at gmail.com. And I'll answer your question. Um, cause I think I probably know, know what you're, uh, most likely asking me. Um, there was one thing I wanted to, was and, and really quick, one thing, thing I know I've got two more minutes and I just want to say at one o'clock, we have a call with Eric to talk about the appraisal guarantees and what best practices around that. So if everyone on this call, I mean, Rebecca Cunningham just called me. She had four offers with a $10,000 over like appraisal guarantee. So get on that today at one o'clock with Eric so we can, can talk about best practices on that. Love it. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to send this video to, um, to Carrie. I'm going to send all of my how-to videos. There's 20 of them. I'll send my intro to neighborhood nurture smart plan and um, and I think that'll kind of get you guys started in the right direction. Um, and the how-to videos are basically just how-to. They're all less than 10 minutes. You can binge them quicker yeah. than you can binge an episode of Ozarks. So um, it'll help you. I, I, I know that I know hundred percent it'll help you guys. Well, so if we didn't cover everything you wanted to cover, it is most likely a video on it. Sorry. Go ahead, Carrie. No, just thank you so much for being here. Um, and some of the comments I saw, um, Marianne Tyndall, where did it go? Just said, this is very useful. She's looking for ways to market. So this would be really helpful. Yeah. Um, Sonia said, thank you, Nick. So it's just, we really appreciate having you. And you have definitely added value. Z says, thank you. So you added value to us today. So well, you win the award for having the most agents on a Zoom call for this uh, mastermind. So <laughs> give yourselves a round of applause for that. Good All right, we'll see you guys soon. Have a great day. Thank you.